Today I'm going to be looking at this little uh, what is it, on-screen display unit. Here it is. Put my finger on it. We're outdoors at the moment. The on-screen display unit is very, very simple. It's about 10 bucks. Cheap as beans. Just lift it off. I've got some Velcro on the back so you can see. It's, um, it's a very small board. It's very light. Only a few grams. And I've hooked it up to the one of the prototypes of the FPV backpack. So you can see how it's going to work now. These cables are a bit long here, but one of the benefits of the FPV backpack is that I put a plug between the res or the camera and the board, so I just plug this in series. This little thing plugs in series with the camera, and it has another lead off. I'll show you on the other side over here. Another little lead here that goes off to the voltage that comes into the backpack. So that should give us an on-screen voltage display and show us uh, also a time, I believe. Now, as that's very cheap. Not expecting an awful lot. And this is an old backpack, so there's a few lines on the video when I have the camera going, uh, when I have the motor going, unfortunately. One of the regulators isn't quite set right on this old one. But let's throw it in the air and see what we get. So there we go, crappy light. Late in the day, day's getting shorter. But there we go, that's the, the little OSD, the very cheap, budgety OSD. And what did you think of it? Well, it works. It's readable. It only provides you with two voltages and a timer. But if you're flying bareback, that may be all you need. But uh, yeah, I'm sort of a bareback purist. I know how long my batteries last just by time. I can just estimate it. Don't have too much trouble. But if you want a little bit of safety, a little bit of margin reserve, maybe if you're flying the bareback on a quad rotor or a multi-rotor where you really don't want the battery to go flat, then that would be a worthwhile addition. And I guess for 10 bucks or thereabouts, you, why not? I mean, 10 bucks and two or three grams, it's probably a useful addition to the bareback FPV backpack if you want it. But you don't have to fit it because as I said, it's really, really easy to put this on, take it off. It's just, just plugs in between the camera and the transmitter board and another plug just plugs in from your battery here piece of cake so there you go if you want to use this you can and it probably would do no harm and for 10 bucks it's probably not a bad addition i should point out of course that this little there's a little button on here and you can push that you can change the position of the various things so it's got about 50 or 60 modes they call them which just changes the position of the voltage and the timer to put it in a position that's perhaps more suitable for you when i to first turned it on, the voltage was up here, and I couldn't really read that very well uh, because in my fat shark, you know how the big fat, the fat shark base edition, they get fuzzy near the corners? Well, it was in a fuzzy corner. So I ended up stepping through all the modes until I found it down here somewhere, which was just ideal for me. Nice and sharp in that corner of my fat sharks. So there you go. That's it. Another part of the FPV series. More coming up really soon. Thanks for watching.